he said he took a year and a half to write it, and I took two years to uh, polish it. <laughs> For years, as you well remember, the, the students always, they have always insisted that I write these stories, as I told it. And over the last years, it became critical. They were almost demanding that I write these stories. And so I began, after I retired really, I began writing these stories. But I honestly didn't know in what form these stories was going to come out. And then Diana said to me, um, just write it for the sake of your children and your grandchildren, just write it. I, I think too that the book went beyond just a bit of storytelling. I think it became, I became involved in unveiling things about my family too mm -hmm. that my students didn't know. And so, about yourself. About myself too. So hopefully I, for hopefully I'm not that exposed, although I think I am mm -hmm. very exposed. When these students came out and bought the book uh, to the degree that they did, mm -hmm. I was truly overwhelmed and truly thankful that they supported me to the degree that they did, truly. Mm. It was beyond my expectations. Everywhere we walked through the school, I was just noticing almost, a, you know, a lot of the students had the books in their hands, and, and one girl, I think she was opening up her locker, and I just saw the book right inside her locker, and we'd walk into the classrooms, and the teachers would have the book on their desks, and, and it was really, really nice to see, really nice to see. Um, I had blotted out a lot of those things, and then as I began recalling it, and when Diana was writing it and had written it with the polish she did, I, I, I found it very difficult, very emotional, but also to see it in the print and the way it was, it was very heartwarming. It, it would seem that um, this part of the book chronicles the part of that life of mine in Trinidad and it ends where I first landed in Canada. So the point is, there is a demand for me now to return to the beginnings of my life in Canada and chronicle some of the events. And I, I believe the pressure's on. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it'll be a while. Yes. Well, I found that um, I had expected that I would sell these books and I would have a reasonable success here in Fort Francis. I found that the response was overwhelming and I found too that there was such a... Positive response. Yes, an outpouring of the support that the people have given me that has made me feel blessed in the community, truly blessed that Fort Francis has come out in the way they have to support me in Total this, support. In, yeah. in this endeavor. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Andrew, he hasn't told me yet. We've been <laughs> married for 37 and a half years and I don't know the answer. So I've told him he has to write it down somewhere and, and if he doesn't want to, it to be published during his lifetime, maybe we'll have to do it or someone will have to do it afterwards. So. Uh, but it may be a very painful memory, I don't know, and it may be something too difficult to be around while it's being discussed by others, so we may all have to wait.